everyone, welcome to my May favorites. And for me, May has been a bittersweet month. But I'm just going to jump right in to my May favorites. And a lot of my favorites are actually things that um, you asked me to reveal. So if you ever see me haul anything and you would like a review on it, just please let me know. And I have no problem reviewing it or letting you know if I liked the product. So I'm just going to get started because someone had asked me to review the Salon Selectives and this is the Color Safe Shampoo and then this is the Conditioning Treatment. And it only, everyone's is always like half full. So my opinion of this is it is definitely worth your dollar at the Dollar Tree. Well, your two dollars because these are a dollar each. Um, I did like the way my very first impression of this was I loved it, especially the conditioner, and I still love them. I just have so many that I'm going through. I have finished the conditioner, and it smells good. It smells kind of like I think people have been comparing it to Herbal Essence. It just has like a really um, fresh scent, I think. It's kind of a sweet, fresh scent. So I still do have some of the shampoo left. I have actually quite a lot of the shampoo because the conditioner, you know, you, I think I use more conditioner. But these are definitely worth a dollar at Dollar Tree. I did enjoy them. Okay, the next thing that I was asked about was the L'Oreal um, Youth Code. So I got the foaming gel cleanser and I got the serum and this is my first time using a serum and then the youth code day and night moisturizer and also the pore vanisher and that's what it looks like. So my opinion of the cleanser is, um, it is a little bit watery once you, like when you're pouring it in your hand to cleanse your face. And then it foams up. And it doesn't foam up, it foams up very lightly. So um, after I finish using this, I probably would not purchase it again. And the serum I did enjoy. This is my first time using the serum. I don't have anything to compare it to. But I enjoy that. And then the moisturizer is just a, an average moisturizer. So I like this one actually better than... And this is the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. So this is my favorite moisturizer. The L'Oreal one was average as I said. In my opinion, I have normal to dry skin, so it could have, I think this might, I don't know if this is, because this is a youth code, I would think that it would, you know, a lot of women who are trying to look more youthful have dry skin, like the older that you get. So, I'm not sure, I don't know if this was for all skin types or dry, I should have read that. It doesn't say anything on the product itself, but maybe the box says something and I threw the box away. Um, the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher. Now, this reminded me a lot of the Benefit Professional. Um, I think this might be the drugstore dupe of the Benefit Professional. It, I enjoy this a lot. So, I would repurchase this but I still like the Benefit Professional a little bit more. This one, I think, is around $10 less than the Benefit Professional. And this one, I think you actually get more product than the Benefit Professional. But it does remind me a lot of the Professional. So I think it is definitely worth it. Now, the I'm going to go on to my... Um, foundations 
and I was asked about these when I purchased them so I'm going to give you my opinion of these and this is the Hello Flawless um, Oil Free Oxygen Wow it has SPF 25 and it's a brightening sunscreen makeup and this is by Benefit I do feel like this is a flawless makeup I do not feel like it is full coverage I feel like it is maybe a medium coverage so that is something to consider if you like a full coverage which I do like full coverage um, but it is also buildable and I don't I like it I used about this much so it has it lasts long it is a little bit watery when I first pumped it out on my hand than I thought it would be but I didn't enjoy this um, I think that there are drugstore brand foundations that are actually better than this one. And if I had to choose between the high-end foundations that I've used, I would get the Clinique foundation because that's the one that I have used and finished and I still like that one more than this one. But that one was more of a full coverage also. So that's my opinion of that. And then the Professional Skin Vanishing Powder by Benefit. And this, I do like this. And I think it is worth it. It just, you can put a little bit in this. It's kind of like the way powder, baby powder is. Where you have to turn it. And then you just put a little bit inside. And then you have your little brush, but it can also, you know, you can open it. And I like this small brush. I know that it's annoying. I've heard it's annoying for some people, but I do like it because you can go right on your problem area with this brush. So you just swirl it around and then, you know, apply it. So I do, I have enjoyed this product. I think it's worth it. Worth the price. And that was the Professional Shine Vanishing Pro Powder by Benefit. Sorry, I was showing you the other side. Okay, um, while we're on face, I'm going to show you this product. And this is the LA Colors that you can get at Dollar Tree. And I think you can also Dollar General, you know, where LA Colors is sold. And this is the color Nude. And I did not even tell you the colors that I were that I'm in. They will color match you for these products, by the way. But in this color, um, and I am in the color I'm pure for sure in the foundation, the Benefit foundation, and the Benefit powder is for. I think it's just a translucent. There's no color on this. It's just a translucent. I'm sorry, I always forget to do that. But with this one, I'm in the color Nude. And I, I've already hit pan on this. And I love this powder. I heard about this powder from Crafty Diva 1. Her name is Maria, and I will leave her channel below. And, I mean, if you need a powder in a pinch, you know, some people, they just don't like the Dollar Tree powders or foundations but if you need something in a pinch I would definitely recommend this I love this actually and I picked I got another color in beige because I want to see if I like the nude color or the beige color better with my skin but I love this so much so it's definitely worth picking up and giving it a try okay as far as makeup I'm going to start go with my eyes and then I have nails, food, and candles to show you. Okay, so um, I created a look with this. This is the Elf Brightening Eye Color. And this is in Lux. And it looks like that. And I use this olive color on my lid. And then I use this brown color bronze color on my crease and I love the look that I created with this and you can get this at the Dollar Tree also and it's the elf palette that olive color and the brown are just beautiful so is the um like well that's more 
that is more of a bronze and then you have like a bronze and olive a gold and a a brown and olive a gold and a bronze so this palette is called looks like I said love it love it and then I did a look with this Milani and I think I did this on my lid it was like a smoky a gray smoky eye I love the look it was really really pretty so this is the color that I put on my lid and it isn't because it has like the silver it doesn't come off of this black it is dark like kind of a charcoal color and then I use my profusion color me glow um, palette it's the 12 eyeshadows and I use this gray color right here in the crease okay and then I have two mascaras and the reason why I wanted to tell you about these mascaras is because these are high-end mascaras which I like both of them I think that these are very similar with what they can do for your lashes they make them look like fake lashes so this is the benefit their real mascara and here was what here's what the wand looks like and this color is I don't think this this color is black I know that I don't think it really has a specific color I didn't need to tell you something I didn't even tell you the color I'm horrible at telling colors of course of course the profusion palette it doesn't have a color but this Milani palette, the color is medley. So, oops. Um, this one does not have a color, but this it does make you have a it does make you feel like you have fake lashes. But at the same time, like it's more of a thicker, more volumizing mascara than some other mascaras. But I don't think any of the mascaras make you look like you have false eyelashes on you have to have false eyelashes on for it to look like that I mean that's just the way it is but this is supposed to give you that illusion which I think you can get this also from the Jordana best lash extreme mascaras so you know if you want a lower if you want like a drugstore brand, I think that is one that can give you about the same effect as this Benefit one. And as I told you, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. This one is, it reminded me a lot of the Benefit. Um, their real mascara. And this is the applicator. So, all of these... You know, I think you can get the same effect on your lashes with the Jordana mascaras. So, you know, if you want to save the money, I would go with those. And I do have the Jordana and I love it. Okay, next I'm going to go with nails. And I haven't, for some reason, I haven't been doing a lot of manis lately. I only did one this month and I loved it. So in my Mother's Day swap with the Joanne, she gave me these two nail polishes. So this is an NYC nail polish in the color Preppy Pink. So the, this I put all over every single one of my nails. And I'm going to leave the Instagram because I have a picture of the mini on my Instagram. And I'm going to leave that below so you can check it out if you want to. I'll um, leave a link to the picture. And then this is the Lexington Lilac color. And I just dotted this on my um, index finger and my thumb on each hand. And I did that with my, um, this is Dottie by LA Colors Color Craze. I got this and I just used the dotting tool right there. 
I didn't use any of the colors. I didn't use any of the gems. But I did use this guiding tool and I loved it. It was so easy. And I don't think you need a dotting tool to um, put the little dots. I think that some people will do it with um, a hair... What are those called? Hair pins. I think that some people will do it with those. So you don't need this dotting tool. And if you can find it... Um, I got this set because of the dotting tool and the little gems. And I just love nail art. I wish I would make time to do more of it. I think because this month was just kind of rough for me. I didn't just... I wasn't in the mood to do my nails this much. Hopefully next month in June I will feel like doing more. I think I'm going to go with candles next. And then I have a food item and then that will be it. So thank you for um, being patient with me. And this is the Air Fresh Lilac scent. It smells so good. I eat burn about that much. So probably about half. Or maybe not half. Maybe a third, no, a fourth, probably, of this candle. And then, this is the Bath & Body Works Lilac Blossom. This is the White Barn Candle. And I probably burned about a quarter of this also in spring. And I loved both of them. And believe it or not, the Dollar Tree Air Fresh Candle gave the Bath & Body Works candle a run for its money. These are awesome candles. So if you find these, they look like... I kept the paper so that I could show you. But here is the paper. This is the Air Fresh. And especially this one, the Lilac one. Oh my gosh. It is just... It's really, really nice. I really love this. And I would definitely buy... I will definitely be purchasing more of these Air Fresh candles at Dollar Tree in the future. And I still love Bath & Body Works candles too. So these were both awesome. But this one has a great scent throne. I mean, like I said, it gave the Bath & Body Works a run for its money. And then the last thing is food. And I was on like a health kick last month. Then this month I went back to, you know, snacking. I haven't had any cake yet. And I didn't have a sweet tooth. I don't think I did. I know I had some sweets. But these are delicious. And these you can get at the Dollar Tree. And they are the Brim Snack Foods Cheese Balls. And as you can see, the whole entire bag is gone. But I loved these definitely check them out and this brand also has potato chips popcorn pork rinds tortilla chips hot fries cheese curls and cheese puffs and i'm definitely going to get me some more of these because they were delish and those are my main favorites i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching bye